tennis legend Andy Murray's illustrious career came to an end recently when he missed out on a spot in the men's doubles semi-final with teammate Dan Evans at the Olympics. They previously had a comeback from five match points down to win Japan's Kei Nishikori and Taro Daniel in the first round. This was followed by a nail-biting victory in the second round against Belgium's Sander Geil and Joran Vliegen. Despite his a loss in Paris, Andy, 37, already has an impressive collection of Olympic medals. He won gold in the men's singles at in both 2012 and 2016, and bagged a silver medal for mixed doubles with Laura Robson in the former year. The medals are just part of his distinguished career on the tennis court, with Andy having 46 titles to his name, including two Wimbledon and one US Open championship, as reported by Wales Online. There's also been interest in his personal life over the years since his professional debut. Net worth Andy, one of the most successful tennis players of his generation, has amassed a fortune over his career and is thought to have won £50 million in prize money. Off the court, has also believed to have netted earnings through endorsement deals and sponsorship partnerships with big names like Jaguar, Castor, Under Armour, and Head. Has also teamed up with other major brands such as Amazon Prime Video, Standard Life, and American Express. According to Celebrity Net Worth, these ventures have contributed to his estimated net worth of around £85 million. However, it's been suggested elsewhere that the figure could be closer to £100 million. Has spent some of his wealth on property and lives in a mansion in Surrey, which reportedly cost over £5 million in 2009. Has also pocketed profits from selling other properties including a flat in Miami. And a decade ago, he snapped up five-star country house Hotel Cromlick's house, near his hometown, for one pound. Eight million. Wife and kids Andy tied the knot with Kim Sears, the daughter of tennis coach Nigel Sears, in 2015. The pair first crossed paths at a party during the US Open in 2005 and made their relationship public a year later, with the tennis ace famously sprinting through the crowd to plant a kiss on her after clinching his first tournament in California. They now have four children together, Sophia, 8, Edie, 6, Teddy, 4, and Lola, 3. In 2021 Andy teased that getting all four to bed on time is among his proudest achievements. Kim is a familiar face in the crowd, often seen spiritedly cheering him on during matches. Her support became particularly memorable when, during her husband's semi-final victory over Thomas Burditch at Wimbledon in 2015, she famously appeared to exclaim, Fuck have that you flash check F. After being given a knighthood in the Queen's New Year honours list for 2016, and he offered a tongue-in-cheek comment about his wife's future conduct. He teased, she's going to have to, do, no more swearing during my matches anymore, for any of you who saw that a few years ago. However, life as a top-tier sports professional isn't without its strains on personal life. Andy has noted there were moments he acted selfish toward his family, particularly during the hard times when injuries benched him. Despite the challenges, Murray has remained vocal in his admiration for Kim, particularly praising how brilliant she has been throughout these testing periods. Andy once opened up about his struggle with a persistent injury, I was pretty down, that's for sure. It was a really tough period for me because it wasn't so much the actual injury itself. Being injured can be frustrating, but the issue that I had was with me every single day, sleeping and walking. It wasn't just I hit a serve and my arm hurt. This woke me up in the night. It was bad, 
In addition to the physical toll, the tennis star spoke about the emotional strain his condition placed on his family life. I don't know if the children noticed because when I'm with them I'm always trying to put on a brave face, but my wife definitely. It put a lot of strain on our relationship, just because I was down all the time. He praised his wife, adding, she has been brilliant and I would probably be quite selfish, just in terms of thinking about myself and how I'm feeling all the time and not actually realizing the impact that has on all the people around me. Brotherly Few Dandy is close with his brother Jamie, though their competitive spirits are said to have led to heated moments between them, such as an incident in 2008. At the time, Andy pulled out of Great Britain's Davis Cup match against Argentina, leaving Jamie to team up with Ross Hutchins in what concluded with defeat. Jamie wasn't impressed by his siblings' withdrawal, stating, as reported by the outlet, it kind of affects the way we feel about him. I think it's disappointing he chose not to come. From what I have been reading he hasn't come out and said Hess injured, it's more a prevention thing. I think if he had really wanted to push himself he could have come here for the match. It was a shock for me and for the team. I was not aware he had a problem. From his point of view, I guess he doesn't have anything to apologize for as has taken the decision not to come. If he had come here, he would have caused them problems because he has the ability to win singles matches, has a world-class player has been in the top 10 and not by fluke. I think he would have liked to come here and had the crowd against him, he plays better in those circumstances. Not taking the criticism lying down, Andy clapped back, it was a little bit disappointing. But he obviously felt pretty strongly about it and has entitled to his opinion. If he knew what it was like playing three five-set matches in a row on clay then maybe he'd understand my position a little bit better. I've not spoken to him yet. You'll see him soon. I guess we'll have to have a chat about it and just discuss our feelings on Davis Cup and the sort of position that I am in, but it's probably not going to be the most fun conversation to have with your brother. Despite their spat, the brothers reportedly went two weeks without speaking before finally burying the hatchet. The future as reported by Birmingham Live, Andy has opened up more recently about his life beyond tennis. He said ahead of the Olympics, I don't know exactly what the rest of my life will look like, but I will still stay in touch with the sport. Dot, initially, I want to be at home with my family. I want to spend a lot of time with my kids and my wife, so I won't be on the road much, I know that. He also hinted at a new sporting pursuit post-retirement, expressing his intent to sharpen his golf skills. He teased, he'll play a lot of golf. He revealed plans to dedicate time to improving his skills, saying, I want to become a scratch golfer. I've always loved playing golf, but because of the issues with my back, I haven't played for five or six years. He also teased the prospect of staying connected to the Olympics in some capacity, although said his plans remain undecided. Follow Mirror Celebs on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.